right now on WUSA 9 News at 11. For weeks now, the community and family of a missing teacher held on to hope that she was still out there somewhere. But tonight we learn the painful truth. A man is behind bars and police say he found Miriam Silla walking in a park and murdered her. We begin here on this Friday night. I'm Leslie Foster. Just before five o'clock today, we learned the heartbreaking news that Scylla had been found dead. And tonight, with a suspect behind bars, police and the community are asking why. WUSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca is live at the Greenbelt Park where Scylla was last seen alive. And Nathan, it is a sad update that none of us wanted to have to share. It is, Leslie. This here is Shrom Hills Park. Now, on the evening of Saturday, July 29th, Scylla went missing that day after a walk in her neighborhood. A devout Muslim from the Ivory Coast, friends say that she was expected to be back for evening prayer, but she never came home. Fellow you know teacher John Enno worked with Scylla for 15 years. We spent a lot of time planning together. And then our relationship quickly grew from just colleagues to serious friends. Maryam Torre Silla taught at Prince George's County Dora Kennedy French Immersion School. Very humble. And that infected you, whoever she met with her humility and her simplicity. Eno joined community searches through the parks of Greenbelt. They didn't know their searches were far from where Silla was found. Police say a concerned citizen spotted what they thought was a body near this area of old Alexandria Ferry Road in Clinton August 1st. This is more than half an hour drive away from when Scylla went missing. Police report finding a dismembered body near this industrial area. DNA evidence matched the body as Scylla. They arrested 33-year-old Harold Landon III, but won't disclose what led them to him. Police say there's no known motive and no connection between Landon and Scylla. With Scylla's sister sitting nearby, prosecutors tried words of understanding. And so that bond uh, that we have is special. And to lose a sibling in this horrific way, it's unimaginable. So we will do everything in our power uh, to get justice. Whatever his motive was, it was not justified. But we're glad that he's gonna be accountable. Now, we track the criminal record of Harold Landon III. A man matching his name had a domestic violence case that was dismissed this May in Prince George's County. He is expected to have a bond hearing this coming Tuesday. Reporting live in Greenbelt, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9. I'm sure on a night like this, people are choosing to remember the way Mariam Silla lived instead of the awful, awful way that she died.